Hi guys, welcome to New Zealand and welcome to the home of the world's first commercial bungee jump. I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, yeah, you make me smile. You're the solution. Sorry, there is actually going to be no bungee jumps today. I was just spectating. It's a mere coincidence that this area around where the bungee jump is is outstanding. It's called the Gibston Valley. Now, today the conditions aren't particularly ideal for landscape photography. We've got a completely blue, sky, blue canvas of a sky over us. Um, a lot of this land is it's agricultural, it's quite cultivated, so it's not particularly exciting. Last week's vlog was brilliant fantastic but uh, cut a very very long story short I actually got lost on the way back and I didn't end up getting home till well after midnight it was pitch black um, I, I like to make a joke out of anything but honestly I, I can't really laugh at it even now a week later it was pretty horrendous and I've learned a lot about the outdoors about respect for my environment respect for the track things like that just in that one night than I probably have ever since I started hiking and stuff so yeah life lesson anyway I'm going to carry on with the hike, so let's go. So guys, I'm actually going to stop here already because I think there's a potentially decent image in this scene. Very, very simple to begin with. I am shooting this at 1 30th of a second. I'm going to go for f6.3. There's not a lot in the sort of immediate foreground. Um, so it means I can get a sort of clearer image throughout without having to worry about what's right in front of the camera. Uh, ISO 100, of course, it's the middle of the day. Well, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon, so no need to have that any higher. So yeah, that's the settings. The composition, um, like I mentioned before in my introduction, I wanted to get one of this Kawadao River going through. The colors look gorgeous. I think if I left it any later, there wouldn't be so much light shining through these mountains and onto the river. So really brings out the blues in it. Then you've got the road going around parallel with the river as well. I've also got my circular polarizer on the front as well, which is really bringing out the sort of blue and the aqua color in that water. It's gorgeous, really, really helping me out there. Gorgeous, so that's my foreground, I guess. Then the kind of mid-ground, I've got these mountains kind of crisscrossing over each other, which gives the image a lot of depth. Then the background, just like a lot of my images, actually, I've got snow-topped mountains and then a small bit of the sky as well. So, yep, just got my two-second timer on just to try and eradicate any shake in the tripod. And that looks magic. Absolutely scorching. The jacket's gonna have to come off. Much better. So guys, I'm onto I'm onto my second image now. I think now this is gonna be a little bit different. This is pretty much exactly how I imagined the scene to be up here. It's, it's exactly how I envisaged it. Now the only thing is, this needs to be a panorama, and I've never done a panorama. So I've watched a lot of videos of people doing panoramas, I've got a rough idea of how to do them, I've read quite a lot, so I'm going to give it a shot. So, I'm sorry if I mess this up, but this is literally, I'm being completely honest, this is my first panorama, my first attempt at a panorama image, so I'd really, really appreciate it if people could comment, 
below specifically about this and tell me what if there's anything that you think that I did wrong, anything I missed out, anything you think I could improve on, whether or not you think the image is any good, I'd, I'd massively appreciate that. So please let me know what you think about this. Thank you very much. So guys, I'm back at the Bungee Bridge now and there's some pretty good news in the distance coming towards our location now. There's some clouds, the very light, the very wispy, which is a word that I like to use. Um, there's a, a, a guy that I follow on YouTube, I'm subscribed to his channel, his name's Andrew Ma. I really, really enjoy his vlogs, adore his photography, I think it's fantastic. Here is a link to his channel here. But yeah, he used that term, wispy clouds, and I, I thought it was fantastic. And they're the kind of clouds you want for, for a sunset uh, or for sunrise so you can really kind of gauge whether or not you're going to get um, a decent sunrise or a sunset not all the time but if you see them sort of wispy clouds you're going to have a pretty decent chance so I'm going to go back down to the bridge now where I started my vlog and just scope out the area and see if I can find any, any decent worthy compositions so as you can probably see there, down the image, the light is just starting to creep down the gorge, which is great news. Obviously, I'd like to get as much light as possible in this in this image, so there's a lot more here than I thought, so that's great. Um, there's still like another hour until the sunset, so I've got uh, still got a while to wait around and see if there's any improvements that I can make to the composition, but I'm pretty happy with this. I think that I'm not gonna use my neutral density filter. Um, I think in this situation I prefer to capture more of the detail in the water and freeze the movement instead of using a more long exposure um, idea here so I'm really hoping that that's going to work um, and so now it's literally just a waiting game to see if the sun is going to be kind to me so let's hope it's going to be a good sunset. Is it real could this be The colours in the sky are just starting to come through now, as you can see there. Um, there's going to be quite a high dynamic range throughout this image, which basically means that my foreground and my midground, so the gorge, the, ri the river, the bridge, and the sort of mountain there in, in the midground, they're all very, very dark. There's no sunlight here whatsoever. But then the sky is still, even though the sky is quite dark, obviously it's a sunset, it's still very, very bright compared to my foreground. So I'm going to take two separate images and I'm going to merge them together in post-processing. So when I take these images, I'm just going to be checking my histogram and making sure that I'm not clipping the shadows or the highlights in, in the two separate images. So my first image is going to be for my foreground, so for the river, the gorge and the bridge. And I'm going to have a quick trial shot at one one third of a second at f7.1, ISO is on 100. And I'm just There we go, and I'm just going to see how it looks, whether it's good enough. See, that's perfect. So, 
that'll be my first image and then my second image I'm just going to slow down the shutter speed so it's not going to let as much light into the lens uh, it looks pretty good on the image and the histogram still a little bit too bright up there in the sky so I'm going to try 1 13th of a second I think this is going to be perfect yeah it looks great so So guys, that's me done for the day. I think I got two or three decent images there. Um, absolutely beautiful location. There's not much you can do wrong around here, to be honest. So very, very lucky to be within um, sort of driving distance to this area. So thank you very much for watching once again. Uh, I really, really hope you enjoyed the images. Uh, please comment. I really enjoy reading through the comments and um, seeing different different people's um, different perspectives and points of views and opinions on the images and the vlog and stuff like that so um, yeah if you could give the video a like that would be fantastic um, feel free to subscribe if you enjoy this content I'm hopefully going to try and post every week um, so yeah until next week thank you very much for watching and goodbye <laughs>